All right, we have a fun project today. What you're looking at is not a laptop. It's just a monitor and a keyboard and mouse all in one in a laptop form, which makes it perfect for making a stealth cybersecurity computer. I'm gonna show you how to build this in this video. All you need is a Raspberry Pi 5, a Wi-Fi adapter, and this Crow View monitor keyboard mouse combo. All right, so if you remember from my last YouTube video, I made a Raspberry Pi 5 small pocket computer where I installed Kali Linux and powered security on it. I had this little tiny keyboard and mouse here that I added to it. And I'm basically gonna be stripping this project down and just using the Raspberry Pi 5 to plug into this. But if you were to make this project, all you really needed to do was just have a Wi-Fi adapter and uh, have a Raspberry Pi 5 with a Kali Linux uh, OS on the SD card. But don't worry, I'm going to show you guys how to do that once again. Um, first things first, plug in your SD card into the computer, as you see right here. All right, so now we're going to get back to the Raspberry Pi imager here. You're going to scroll down until you see other specific purpose OS. Click on Kali Linux, click on the 64-bit uh, Raspberry Pi version, and then click your storage device, which we have as the uh, SD. Now, if you want to actually grab the image, which I kind of recommend you doing anyway, is go to, click on Kali Linux, and click on the ARM, and download the recommended ISO there. So, and then you can do the same thing with Powered Security. Click on the IoT, Raspberry Pi. It says right there, Raspberry Pi right there, five. Click on that, and then I recommend you doing the security. The one I did in the video is just a security version, and download that as well. Then once you're done, you're gonna let it write, and it takes a little while, and then it's gonna take a little while to validate, and then once you're done, you just unplug your SD card and plug it into your Raspberry 5, and you're ready to go. All right, for the next part of this video, I'm gonna be doing a unboxing of the Crow View monitor keyboard mouse combo here, and uh, I'm just gonna play some music while I unbox this thing, and uh, I'll get back to you guys shortly. Alright, so all I do here is take off the plastic, but if you look here, this comes with a really cool adapter. This adapter plugs in your Raspberry Pi 5 to this device, and again, this device is solely a keyboard, a mouse, and a monitor. That's all this thing is. It looks like a laptop, it's in a laptop form, but it has just that. That's its only purpose. All right, so your Raspberry Pi 5 is plugged into the adapter, and the adapter is plugged into the Crow View. And make sure you put the USB connection to that adapter to the Raspberry Pi 5 or the keyboard won't work. And now it's time to turn it on. So in the top right corner, there's a little power button. Just give it a minute to boot up. It takes a little while. And before you know it, you're ready to go. So I also plugged in the uh, Alpha adapter here. So I have it stripped, but you don't need to strip it. I only did it because it was for an other build. I made it a lot thinner, but you don't have to go that crazy. So right here, I'm going to set up... Uh, a quick wireless pen test. Um, I'm going to be using Arageddon 
So I think in this video, I just did a deauthentication attack um, on my home network. Um, as you see here, it's setting itself up. And uh, I had to turn the Wi-Fi adapter into monitoring mode. And as soon as I do that, I can scan for networks. And once I scan for networks, I was able to do the pen test. So it works. This is a really cool cybersecurity computer. I call it the ghost computer because it's so easy to use and it's not actually a computer uh, built into a laptop. It's just a single board computer to the left here plugged into a monitor keyboard combo. Um, no data is being stored on this device at all. And as soon as I turn off the switch here, nothing really gets saved. I can choose to run Kali live as well. And uh, I haven't tried using Tails, but I think Tails would work on this as well, depending on how you're going to be using it. But this is probably a little bit better than what I had previously for the other Ghost computer. Now that I have the Wi-Fi adapter plugged in, you could um, spoof MAC addresses. Um, there's a lot of other cool things you can do now. And this is a much simpler build than what I did previously. And the best part about this is there's a little switch on this adapter that turns it off. And I can literally unplug the Raspberry Pi 5, put it in my pocket, and go about my day. And nothing is being saved to this computer because it's just a monitor and a keyboard. It looks like a laptop. It feels like a laptop. But it isn't. It's only there for display, battery, keyboard, and mouse. So that's it. That's pretty much it for this project. I really did have fun making it. I recommend this one over the previous one because it's about the same amount of money. I think this device goes for about... 180 so my previous build was like a little bit over 300 dollars. this one would probably be in the same amount same price range so i would just i would rather you get this it's a cooler build and you can use this uh monitor keyboard combo for other things i ended up using this for a uh, g cloud uh, attachment as well um so there's a lot of cool things you can do with it so i highly recommend doing this project let me know what you think about this project in the comments is this a better ghost computer than the previous one and disclaimer, I do not condone any illegal activity. This is solely for educational purposes only. This was a fun build. I'll be leaving all the links to the products in the description. And remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.